After a couple brutal one-point losses, the Warriors bounced back with a decent win against a hobble Joe Embiid Sixers without Tyrese Maxey. I want to focus on the recent consistent play of Andrew Wiggins, who has probably heard his name in trade talks and put up his best game in weeks with a 23-5-4 game, so let's break it down. The mysterious Wiggins fallout this season has to be studied, but since Draymond's gone back, he's visibly become more aggressive. Golden State literally runs the first play for him with two staggered on-ball picks between him and Steph and Dre, allowing him to attack with a strong right hand. With Curry slipping the second screen, the Sixers do not communicate a potential switch, and Embiid is reasonably in a heavy drop, so Wiggins gets a straight line drive to the rim. Exploiting that size and strength advantage on our old friend Kelly Oubre, Wiggs has been missing this kind of shot all year, so it's a great sign to see this layup go in the basket. Curry's also been hot recently despite the losses, and here we get a simple pin down by Dre as Daniel House is not denying Steph. I didn't feel like making another Steph video despite his massive 37 points, but here in beat is always going to be a drop on screen, so nothing super fancy here but a pass by Wiggs to get Steph in a one dribble pull up from 18 feet. Good read by Steph. Wiggins started off 5 for 5 in the first quarter, and here Looney tries to involve Embiid again, but Wiggs prefers to attack with a strong right hand. Honestly, pretty solid defense here by Ube Jr., but I've seen him clank this shot the whole year, and it's another good sign to see his mechanics on point, as Wiggins sidesteps to the right for a midi. Defense turns into offense here. With House trying to use his size on Steph, Wiggins helps out on the switch, and him and Kaminga force him to the baseline away from a shot. Now Golden State has got to be in scramble mode with rotations as Kaminga points to his teammates to close out. Now look at Wiggins with both feet in the restricted area knowing he has to run out against Ube Jr. Even though he's got his hands down, I love this timely contest on the three ball and immediately leaks out. Steph gets the uncontested rebound throws a touchdown pass back to Wiggs to reward him for the dunk. And these are the winning type of plays. On an out-of-bounds play, we have Loon setting a back screen on House, but this was a misdirection as Steph sets a pin down for Wiggs to let him try to read the defensive coverage. He has the option to go over another Looney screen, but poor positioning by Springer here, instead of dropping low and forcing him to go up on the wing, he gets caught between Steph and his own Sixers teammate. Wiggins instead cuts towards the basket, nice bounce pass by Charge, leads to another strong finish at the rim. Not gonna lie, that's multiple aggressive plays from someone I have not seen much from this whole year. Golden State came out strong in the first, something they really have been lacking. On a handoff screen by Looney, again I'm not sure why Philadelphia defenders are playing over the picks considering Wiggs has been an awful shooter this year, but House playing up high as his view was Curry just gives Wiggins a clear path towards the basket to attack using his athleticism. And with Looney's man in them beating a heavy drop, what a saucy move by the wing for a hezzy tween into a jump stop, then rises up strong against his college teammate for another right hand finish, looking like an absolutely new man here. He had a plus 18 for the night, including solid defense as the old wigs we know. Here the dubs miscommunicate on the pad bev and B pick and roll, as the two rookies focus too much on Beverly and they leave the MVP wide open. Steph is now in no man's land and with his man cutting to the rim, it helps that Ube Jr. is right in the dunker spot, allowing Wiggins to quickly rotate off. Kind of a bad pass here anyways, but Wiggins stays aggressive with his hands and comes up with a big turnover. Even here, Draymond was able to wind down the shot clock and force Embiid into a tough turnaround fadeaway that ends up hitting the backboard only. Pajanski loses Pat Bev on the box out and with the loose ball, Beverly thought it was a smart idea to go right back up but look who's there, a much taller Wiggins swats it from behind. They're going to need two-way wigs the rest of the year if they're going to make the damn playoffs. Off another offensive rebound, Ubre Jr. attacks one on three just like I remember he stupidly did a few years ago. Thinking he could just outmuscle everyone, Wiggins keeps his hands up and absorbs the contact through his chest. And just as Ubre was about to rise, he strips the ball cleanly for another one of his three steals for the night. With Draymond handling the ball up top, nothing super fancy here but a back screen by Curry to see what the coverage prioritizes. This generally would become a handoff to him, but because the Sixers are so focused on Steph, no switch occurs between Springer and House Jr. And no weak side help either from Korkmaz and another dunk by Wiggins, absolutely wild scene these days. He also scored 7 straight points by himself to stop the run by Philly late in the game. 
With Sharge trying to do work in the post, the Sixers collapse in the paint. Springer Shays as a weak side low man, and Oubre is now responsible for the two weak side warriors. But because Pajenski cuts all the way to the other side, not sure what Oubre is thinking here getting stuck in no man's land. Wiggins ends up wide open and Sharge finds him for the kick out three ball. Let's keep running charge in the post. With Rubey Jr. again giving Wiggins lots of space on the kick out, encouraging the shot, you just can't allow dribble penetration if you're the Sixers. Poor closeout letting Wiggins to attack with his dominant hand, absolutely no help from any of his teammates as he splits the defense all the way to the rim for an uncontested layup, way to not settle for a jump shot. This didn't end up leading to a basket, but still wanted to highlight his defensive energy by getting his hands up and deflecting a pass from MB to Patrick Beverly. Small things like this represent winning plays, as this unintentional steal leads to a fast break by Kaminga, who still draws the foul for two free throws. There you guys have it, a decent home win before a long road trip, but I wanted to highlight Andrew Wiggins for the first time this season. He's had shining moments, but the lack of consistency has been an utter disappointment. With trade rumors swirling recently and Draymond coming back to babysit, Wiggins put on his best performance in weeks while playing both ends of the floor. Not sure how I feel about him going forward, but all I can hope for is more consistency and back to the 2022 Wiggins. If you guys like this breakdown, like and subscribe to see more.